Hello guys, what's up? And I will be discussing APR versus effective APR. So APR just stands for annual percentage rate and effective APR, also known as APY, just stands for annual percentage yield. So let's say I uh, was borrowing $5,000 and I had an annual percentage rate APR of 10%. So if I just paid 10% interest on this $5,000, my i would have to pay five thousand five hundred dollars at the end of the year because it's annual but it's actually not like this because apr compounds so i'll explain what i mean by that so on day one on day one we would pay five thousand dollars times by so APR can compound daily, it can compound monthly, it can compound weekly, compound bi-weekly. But for this example, we're going to assume it compounds daily. So I'd be paying 1 plus 0 0.1 over 365 on my first day. Because, because it's compounding daily, over the year, these would add up to 10%. So I'm paying 3 65th of 10% of that interest on day 1. And the reason why it's 365 is because the year has 365 days. So this rate is known as my daily periodic rate. So this is called the daily periodic rate. So on day two, I would end up paying two would equal 5,000. But now I would have to buy my daily periodic rate. So on day two, I would pay this. And times this again, because I'm paying the amount on day one times by this daily periodic rate again, because it's compounding. So times by one plus 0 0.1 over 365. And for day three, it would be again, because it's compounding based off of the previous amount. So how much would I be paying by day 365 once my loan is over? Well, by day 365, I'd be paying 5,000 times by my daily periodic rate what's happening here uh, 1 plus 0 0.1 over 365 to the power of 365 because it's it's going to compound 365 times so let's see what uh, difference this makes so let's calculate what how much I would be paying if I did this so I would have 5,000 times by let's calculate our daily periodic rate in a as a full number like a, with a decimal so 0 0.1 over 365 1.00027393 to the power of 365 once again this is still it's the same number it's just our daily periodic rate expressed with a decimal as opposed to with a fraction so what's this number to the power of 365 this is 5,000 times by 1.10515782. Now, don't you notice that this number is not the same as, uh, as this? So this percent is not the same as this percent over here because this is actually 10 0.5%, 10 10.515% instead of just 10% because it's compounding. So this percent, the percent that we're paying is, this is 10.5% as opposed to the 10% APR. So our APY, our effective interest rate is actually 10.5%. And the total which we are paying is now, let's do this times by 5,000, 5,000 times answer. We are actually paying, in this case, we would be paying an additional $552 with this. So we'd be paying $5,552 approximately. So we're paying an additional $52. Now, in this case, it wasn't such a big difference. But in some cases, it can be a massive difference because you're going to have, you're going to be borrowing more money. You may have a higher annual percentage rate and things like that. I hope this video helped.